Hey Aries, thank you so much for coming to your monthly love reading. This love reading should uh, resonate for Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Those of you that are cross-watching, welcome. It can be your situation or your partner's. It kind of just depends, so take it for what it is. Sometimes you do have to flip it. All right, so let's talk, okay? I feel like it's going to be a time where something is opening up. I feel like things become much lighter. I feel like, Aries, if you were going through some type of heartache or some type of loss emotionally, um, mentally, I feel like you come out of that this month, which is beautiful. Because right now I feel like it's really your time to shine. And I feel like that happens by you being very compassionate and generous right now and really being a leader and setting the tone. I also feel like, too, that with everything that's going on with you, nothing is going to stay in the dark for too much longer. Everything has to come to light. So through your illumination, through your truth, and the way that you carry yourself down a path, I feel like you're going to start to um, come out very victorious. And I feel like you're going to be receiving a lot of blessings along the way. So really use this energy right now to keep your thoughts positive and continuing um, to think about happy and joyful memories because now is the time. Like there is something here where you're coming out of this dark phase and you're entering into a new phase of your life. Okay. So your oracle messages that I pulled was the dear spirit. And this is about um, bring a gentle touch and blessings. So... It's interesting to me, Aries, that you received the deer spirit. I think I'm so surprised by that because Aries, like, usually, like, you're the opposite of it, right? And I think what's interesting with the deer spirit is it's just letting you know that right now people are going to be trying to trigger you and you really need to make sure you stay in your power and you don't react, okay? Like, do not match their intensity. Do not engage in arguments. Um, if you're dealing with somebody who's overly aggressive, take, take a step back and really just disengage. It's almost like the least you say, the better it becomes. Now, of course, this doesn't mean allowing somebody to bully you, but it's about taking um, a solid stand, but doing it in not an aggressive way. Like sometimes things like more is less. I guess that's the best way to do it. But it's also too saying that during this time period, especially with the Mercury retrograde, things may just not come out right, okay? So it's going to be very easy to offend people, I feel like. So just let some time pass. And um, there is some type of beautiful gift that's coming. So just really understand that because you do have blessings here as well. So let's take a look. Look how beautiful she is. I don't know. Like, I love this card. Like, I love her hair. I love everything. It's like she has all these fish around her. She has abundance. She has options. I feel like for you guys this month, it's more so about you taking a backseat and really taking on, I feel like, that feminine energy and not necessarily the masculine one where it's like, go, 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 go. You're initiating things. I feel like it's time for you guys to take a backseat and allow that person to come in and do that for you. Let's get into the reading. Okay, um, so I'm using a new set of cards. Got these not too long ago. Um, you guys always ask me what cards they are, and honestly, I don't remember, and I'm looking for the box, and I don't see the box anywhere. Um, but I do like these, so you guys are the first ones I'm using it on, and I feel like it's perfect. All right, let's hop into it. What's the overall energy for love and romance for Aries? What's the overall energy for love and romance for Aries? Overall energy, love and romance. Okay. Wheel of Fortune. Things are changing. Change is coming regardless if you want it or not. What um, Aries person of interest romantically, what is their energy when it comes to their relationship with, with Aries? What's their energy when it comes to their relationship with Aries? Okay. The Ace of Wands. This may be a new person, Aries, that's stepping into the gauntlet for you guys. Um, you also have Sag here, uh, Aries, Leo, or, um, Sag. Okay, so, and, ooh, hold on, I didn't ask a question. It's like they want to talk. 
there's something here about being strong and really sticking to your guns about what you want. That's something that's coming in really quick. Let me, let me just say that. It, it's, it's about having some type of strong connection with somebody that makes you very happy. Um, how does Aries, what's Aries energy in their relationship with their person of interest? What's Aries energy? Okay, look, here you are, Aries. You're like, let me tell you something, you stupid ass. Bleep, 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 bleep. Okay, so I think that that's why they probably told you to be gentle. And you know I love me and Aries. You know I like that feisty shit, okay? Until it's directed towards me, then I'm like, wait a minute. But usually it's not. But I'm just saying, like, I think that there is something to you being more gentle. I feel like it throws people off. What is the current situation for Aries? What is Aries' current situation romantically with their partner or person of interest? Nine of Pentacles. I feel like for some of you guys, you're waiting, you're single, you're more so probably focused on yourself right now than a relationship. Let's get the outcome. What's the best potential outcome here for Aries romantically? Best potential outcome here for Aries romantically. Okay, free yourself in wedding. Interesting. Kind of two like dueling energies, but we'll get there. All right, let me clarify these and we can move on. What's the overall energy for love and romance for Aries? Overall energy for love and romance for Aries. Okay, date. I like it. I'm here for it, Aries. Um, who's Aries person coming in? Who's Aries person coming in for them? What's their energy towards Aries? Okay, lightning. Like, it, what is that one Grease Lightning song where, like, they're like, um, fuck, what did they say to it? I don't know. There's, like, a funny part in the Grease Lightning song where I feel like that's you guys. Like, your partner's, like, ready to rock. They're like, come on, I know we just met, but let's light this fire because I want to seal the deal here. Wrap it and stamp that shit with a bow and let's keep it pushing. All right, what is Aries' energy towards their person of interest romantically? Talking. Aries, I feel like you met somebody new. I feel like whatever heartache, whatever pain, whatever bullshit you guys were dealing with prior, I feel like there's somebody new here. There is some type of new energy. Yeah, and I feel like the situation is self-indulgent. I feel like you've taken some time to work on yourself, to figure out what you want. I feel like, too, Aries, you're no longer okay being the person in the background. I feel like for you, it's like commit or nothing. Like, I'm not going to be over here being the one that's hidden. That's something that's coming uh, across very strongly as well. What do you, what's changing for Aries here for this, for this month? Okay, the Empress. So, Aries, I do feel like Libra or Taurus your partner, I feel like, has entered the building. I feel like for a lot of you guys, you were going from a place where there was just a lot of heartache, a lot of pain. I feel like your partner was very indecisive. They didn't know what they want. They didn't know what they wanted, I feel like, romantically. Or there was just, like, a lot of, like, hot and cold for some reason. Like, a fear of intimacy. Like, that's what's coming to mind. Now, with this person coming in, I feel like this is somebody new. Um, and I feel like you're getting back out there, you're starting to date, you're starting to feel good, there's a very light type of energy about you, and I do feel like you meet somebody who is your equal, because, hey Aries, um, I know that I just did your reading, and I want to say this for those of you guys that are watching the YouTube right now, I just finished the Vimeo, and let me tell you, the Vimeo was beautiful, okay, I just want to throw that out there, your new person coming in is amazing. This person is the real deal Holyfield. This is like why your past situation was set up. The reason you went through all the term, turmoil and drama and all that, this person is the like it, it's set up for this, okay? Like there is something so beautiful here. And just so you guys know, when I asked what your advice was for your past person, it was to cut it. That past energy is very toxic, and the new energy coming in is beautiful. So, Aries, you got this. We are coming up as the Empress. Okay, give me some more information here about what's changing from Aries. The other thing is this, though. If it's not somebody new, okay, nine, um, Six of Cups, there's Scorpio. If this isn't somebody...
somebody new, um, Aries, I feel like you're taking a back seat and you're changing from the emperor to the empress. This is a more receptive type of energy. This is an energy where it's like, I already know what I have to offer. I'm just going to sit back and wait to see if you bring it to me. Because, Aries, I feel like right now you're realizing that you are abundance. You have everything that you need, Aries. It's at your fingertips. Um, you exude it. Like, there's something here that is very fulfilling right now that's coming in. I said this on the last couple of readings. So how I look at this is your energy coming in and your overall outcome. I feel like these are future. This is what's coming. Your situation and how you guys are interacting right now, this is what's currently going on. So this is what you have to look forward to. Okay. Um, Six of Cups, for some of you guys, this may be somebody from your past. You may be having some type of reunion. I do feel like this is going to come out of nowhere, um, probably when you least expect it. I also feel like it's an ending to the mundane. It's an ending to something going back and forth. One more card here for the overall energy. Overall energy here. What's the overall energy for Aries? One more card, please. Okay, the Ace of Swords. You may be receiving a level of communication from somebody from your past. I feel like this communication is giving you an optimistic view on what's going on. And I also feel like it's giving you a level of clarity. What does Aries have clarity on this month? What is something Aries has clarity on? Mm-hmm. Woo! Look at this. It's hopping out. The King of Cups. So Scorpio, Leo, Cancer, Pisces, you have, you have an idea on, um, you have clarity, I feel like, on what you want romantically. I think that you have clarity or you have some type of vision here on understanding that being emotionally centered is very important to you, being treated right, having that sense of nurturing, having a sense of truth and security. I feel like that's important. How would Aries feel about this? King of Cups. I feel like this King of Cups is coming in for you, Aries. The Knight of Cups. You feel good about this person. All right. Okay, let's move on. So your person is lightning with the Eight of Wands. I feel like this person is very different than you. I feel like this is a very quick change. Like, I feel like you meet this person out of nowhere. Um, it's almost like you're surprised. Why? Because of strength. Mm-hmm. There's Leo. Why is this person um, surprised? Why is this person, why is this person surprised when um, with Aries? Why are they surprised? With the Three of Cups, okay, because this is their energy. Okay, Four of Wands, Two of Cups. So here's something that I asked Aries. I asked, um, and it's three, two. So you have the two of cups. You have the four of wands. Here's uh, Venus and Aries. You also have Cancer Venus as well as Mercury and Cancer. Here's what I think, to be honest. Because this is this person's energy in your relationship or energy towards you in the relationship. I feel like this is a new start. I feel like this is somebody who feels like you have a lot to offer. I think that you and this person are in the talking phases. I think that you're starting to get to know one another. However, I do think that this person is really ready to invest. And I feel like there are some type of deep emotions here. Six of Cups, King of Cups, Two of Cups, Three of Cups. There is some type of soul connection with this person. I feel like your person... Um, their energy and the relationship is one that's very optimistic. I feel like they're going to be very patient with you. I feel like this is somebody who can communicate, openly communicate with you, share their feelings. I do think that this is somebody who's probably been hurt in the past. So getting them to open up may be a little bit challenging, okay, as you see over here. Or they may find you a little bit challenging to open up. But I feel like you and this person are mirroring each other. I also feel like for this person, they want love. They're ready to settle down. Four of Wands, Two of Cups. It's like they're ready for something real. They're ready for their partner. Okay, what's Aries? Why, why, why is the Five of Cups here for Aries? Why is the Five of Cups here for Aries? Five of Cups. 
Okay, hold on. Three of Cups. How do they feel about this person? How do they feel or or not how they, well, yeah. How do they feel about their person right here? How do they feel about their person? The Page of Cups. Okay, so here's what I think. Um, is this, does this have to do with the past situation or is this a current situation? To me, this is a past situation. Okay, is the Five of Cups, Three of Cups past? Okay, past, okay. Um, what is, what is, uh, Aries energy in, in their, in this new relationship? What's Aries energy in this new situation? Judgment. One more card, please. With the seven of wands. Okay. Here's what I think. I feel like for a lot of you guys, you're still stuck on stupid. I feel like this person is entering. I think that you're very curious. I think that you want to talk to them. I think you want to see what they're going through or you want to see like what they're about. However, I do think that you're still stuck on some type of past event, some type of past person that maybe you didn't have the right outcome with. I feel that very strongly. And I also feel like that was something that really hurt. Like, I do feel like there's a level of heartache here that you've not necessarily healed from. So I feel like over here, there is a lot of healing that's going to take place with that specific situation. I just want to say this, Aries, like, you have to be very careful that you don't block your own blessings, right? You know you have blessings coming in. Right now, it's about being gentle. Like, this person, I feel like, has also been through a lot. So if you come at them in the same manner that you've came out this person, it's not going to work. This person is somebody that needs, you know, emotional support. This is somebody who needs to see that you're ready to move forward, to see that there is something here between you and them. I just feel like this person also may be somebody from the past that's coming back around and it may be somebody that you're not really ready to like talk to, but I do feel like your person or your partner, this person who's interested in you, they do have very good energy, but for whatever reason, you're, I don't know if it's like you don't believe them. Because you have judgment with the nine of wands or the seven of wands. So that's Mars and Leo. And then you also have judgment here. There's Libra, Scorpio. I just feel like this person comes out of nowhere and I feel like you don't know what to do. I think that your first initial instinct is to probably push them back. But I feel like your partner, sorry, I'm trying to light the other candle really quick. I feel like your, I do feel like your partner though, or this person coming in, I feel like they know what they want. Why the seven of wands? Why is, why is the seven of wands here? With the emperor. See, it's almost like you're pushing back. Why? Why? Why does Aries push back? Why does Aries push back? Because you have, you want to make the decision. And for you, Aries, I feel like you want to build a solid foundation without any secrets. I feel like that's key. I feel like there was a lot of secrets with this past situation, with this past relationship. And for you, it's like, no, like I want to build this. I, I, I want to build this and make it very strong. But I feel like also, like, you're still grieving over your past situation. I think it's going to be hard for you to completely move forward until you're completely healed with your past situation. One more card here for what you want me to tell Aries about their energy towards this person. The Queen of Wands. There you are. You're like, look at me. Why does she look like Shakira to me? It's like, these hips don't lie. I don't know why, but that's what it reminds me of. Here's the thing, Aries. I do think that you need to keep that same aspect of yourself where you want to move forward. You have to keep that same aspect of a fighter. You have to keep that same aspect of being very vibrant. Okay? Like, there's there's a certain amount of vibrancy to you. And it's there for a reason. Okay? I also feel like, too, 
this is really about you taking the center stage and really welcoming your partner in because you have the emperor and the empress here. So obviously this is a very significant connection. It's really about you too, like stepping into your creative um, power, breaking some type of boundaries here, breaking conventional norms, and really trusting yourself. And I feel like when you do that, as much as you're nervous or worried about starting this new love, when you and this person have communication, I think you're going to be relatively surprised with where things go. Okay. So your situation currently with this person, it's the Nine of Pentacles. I feel like a lot of you guys are single right now. You're focused on yourself. You're getting your money right. There's a lot of uh, healing and self-appreciation going on. Okay. Wow. Page of Wands with the Nine of Cups. Beautiful. There is some type of spark here. I do feel like that with this page of wands. There is some type of spark. I feel like for you, there's something very youthful about the situation. This person may be very confident. I just feel like for you, how this person is approaching you, I think you're going to feel very good about it. What do you want me to tell them about this situation? I mean... Aries and this person. What do you want me to tell them about the situation between Aries and this person? The King of Wands. This person is your partner. Like, this person is going to give you exactly what you want. So, that's why it's important right now to still keep that aspect of hope alive. Look at this. The Ace of Pentacles with the Moon. Let's stop here because there is some type of hidden offer here. You have the Moon and you have the Ace of Pentacles. You don't see the commitment but it's here. And this is somebody, they may have kids already, which isn't a big deal. But I do feel like there's something here that you don't see that this person has to offer. And it's going to make you really happy. That's what I'm gathering. Like you do have a new start. You have the Ace of Wands over here. You have the Ace of Pentacles. I think the Ace of Swords. It's, it's, it's almost like you have all the Aces here. So there is something new that's happening regardless if you want it to or not. Okay, so Aries, this is a beautiful uh, reading. Welcome the new because the new is coming in whether you like it or not. All right, I love you guys and I will talk to you guys soon. Peace.